Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today, I had the liberty of being able to show you guys one of the most expensive builds I've ever seen in my entire life. This is Whimsy's Cast On Critical Forbidden Right Occultist, currently sitting at a whopping 25 plus mirrors in cost. It's got 87% all res, 75% block, 70% spell block, 82,000 armor, 331 million DPS, a 10.09 trigger rate, with a near max crit spell crit on Forbidden Right, which is actually quite difficult, and uh, a full perfect crit on the uh, Cyclone. This build has 934% crit multi, and it's running some of the most expensive pieces of gear I've ever seen in my life, uh, one of which being the chest piece. Now, this chest piece is a fractured grasping nail that has been crafted to perfection with a third implicit, the vendor's cells where the vendor buys this item for, for more, whatever that Gilded Fossil Implicit is. He then Hinakora's locked it into plus one socketed gems. He did the same thing on his gloves for spell crit. He's also Hinakora's lock corrupted a lot of his cluster jewels and his other jewels. This is the first time I've seen the Adorned being used in such a intense way. And it really does go to show how insanely good the Adorned actually is. He has a max rolled Adorn Jewel with four one passive voices and seven magic jewels that are all triple implicit corrupted with crit multi and max energy shield or uh, reduced mana cost of skills and uh, even one has chance to avoid being stunned as an abyss jewel to get stun immunity. Is that which was taken is something that I didn't even know would exist. It's insanely good. He's got an amazing double corrupted melding of the flesh. Excellent charms. I would consider them perfect charms for his build. He's got two mirrored rings because in order for him to get his all his costs to zero, including his cyclone, he had to mirror the soul coil two stone ring twice because he needed a different bench mod on one of them. He's got an excellent double corrupted mage blood uh, mirrored to your helmet. He went ahead and made a mirror tier dagger and then got a fourth implicit on the dagger and Hinnacora's Lock corrupted that as well. He's also Hinnacora's Lock corrupted his boots for plus one level of socketed gems. This is some of the most intense min-maxing I think I've ever seen and it's definitely the most expensive build I've ever had my hands on. Typically when I make a build I I will do some min-maxing, but not to this degree. This is on another level of min-max. Uh, this guy has over 8 mirrors, 9 mirrors of jewels alone. His build itself is probably worth about 10 mirrors. Just about everything's as perfect as it can get. And yeah, the build is uh, playing out to be pretty excellent. Um, I had a lot of fun recording content with this build. The build seems near invincible. The only thing it can't really survive is like uh, the memory game for Maven or just like really big slams and stuff like that. But this build is running some of the most intense of all those maps, you know, three to four possessed, tormented, feared maps. Like it's doing everything at its peak. Uh, I'd be curious to see how far in Delve this thing could get. I guess is probably somewhere into the two, three, four thousand depth, maybe even further. It's just a matter of if you have the discipline to do that. And yeah, uh, Whimsy is a close friend of mine. I've been watching him make this build since the league started and have been watching the build progress over time. It's been really cool to see. He's been allowing me to do certain things to his build on stream, like he let me hit a chorus corrupt some of his items on stream. And yeah, this build is absolutely 1 million percent unreplicable. It's something that you would need to take a lot of effort into making or have a uh, something like a, a mirror shop item that gets a lot of services, for example. In Whimsy's case, uh, he was my partner on crafting the Soul Foil Ring this league, and that's why he was able to afford making such a crazy build. Uh, he's put just about every divine that he's made into this build, which is definitely well over 25 mirrors at this point. It's insane how much has gone into this build. And it's really cool to see it perform. Now, obviously, at this point in power, there's a point where enough is enough, I guess. The, the build is 
definitely was all content viable way before he started min-maxing it to this degree. Uh, he says that he has no other further improvements for the build, and I'm inclined to agree with him. He's done just about everything you could possibly do to the build. I can't, my personally myself, I can't find any way to make the build any better. And yeah, I'm just going to kind of let the gameplay play out. I just wanted to show this build off to you guys. It's really cool to see that this can be possible in Path of Exile. And it's really interesting to see just how far you can push characters, even in a league, not even in standard. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the gameplay, and I'll see you next time. All right, see you later.